Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Magnus, and today we're going to talk about the Jumbo Hot Fixes for R81.10. And I'm sure that you're already aware that Checkpoint is recommending this release now. So I'm just going to highlight a few things that is easy to miss. So first of all, we have the Jumbo Hot Fixes. It's uh, described under the SK175186. And if we scroll down here, we can see like the general availability and uh, we have different CPUs offline packages. We have the smart console package. And this was something that I missed. So I'm running MDS, meaning I have the multi-domain. So I was hoping like I can use the Blink image. I don't need to do several updates in, the, in a row because the Blink image include like the Jumbo hotfixes. So you don't need to go like R81.10 and then add a Jumbo hotfix after. But this is something that you need to check and this is something that you need to be aware of. So you see here the Blink image for multi-domain is clean install only. But when it comes to like Blink image for security management, it's clean install and upgrade. So this is something that you need to see. And this is different depending on what sort of product that you're actually using. So this is important uh, because you don't want to do a clean install when it comes to the management server by mistake. Uh, that's not fun. But that's why you do a snapshot and you do some backups before you do upgrades so you avoid such mistakes. So if you scroll down even more here, so the important notes, this is actually important to read. I normally skip this to be honest, but um, you can see here like installing of R81.10 Jumbo take 30. So it's more or less say here, like if you have installed uh, the Jumbo take 22, you will need to contact Checkpoint support. So it's okay to have nine or 14, but we recommend skipping take 22 and install take 30 instead. So it's not like you need to install each single take like uh, 9, 14, 22, 30. You can install the R81.10 and then install the take 30 right away. So you don't need to take all the steps. But this is important that you actually read this and see like, yeah, I have take 22. So I need to contact checkpoint support to be able to upgrade to R to the take 30. I don't know if this is the same, if you're going to upgrade to take 38, maybe checkpoint has included that fix, but I don't think that they will state anything like that before this is GA. So this is ongoing and it's not GA and 9 and 14 I believe they were GA before we can check that ongoing take 9 maybe not 14 ah it doesn't say so take 22 was actually GA hmm? um, but anyway I just wanted to highlight highlight that the uh, really important notes because they could actually be important. Um, I missed this myself, <laughs> uh, but it's okay. You can do it after. Uh, it's just like, sometimes it's frustrating when you, I mean, if you have done a lot of upgrades, it's easy to, to get into the habit of like, yeah, we can do it on the fly. It's not really a good habit, but if you have done 100 upgrades and all 100 has been successful, you don't really read the release notes. But when you have failed an upgrade or something has become an issue, then you start to research a lot and you get scared of upgrading. It gets problematic. So I would just recommend you to read the important notes, uh, check the forum for people with uh, that experience issues or that uh, stating like, yeah, this was successful. So, um, um, I don't know what I'm going with this, <laughs> honestly, uh, just check the like release notes from time to time and uh, don't get into the habit of like, uh, uh, just doing on the fly stuff, actually plan some stuff in advanced. Um, 
I'm not the best person of this because I do way too many upgrades and I do a lot on the fly. Um, but uh, learn by people's mistakes. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.